Softball players across the state have mixed reactions to a new push that will require Kentucky high school pitchers to wear protective face masks. The effort is being led by Union County pitcher Evan Hendrickson, who was recently hit in the face with a 70 mile per hour line drive. The accident broke several bones in her face, and she wants to prevent this from happening to other girls. This issue goes beyond the high school level, and even college players have taken this same safety precaution. Bellarmine freshman Sabrina Fusenegger never sets foot on the mound without one. She's been wearing a face mask for seven years now, and she says that at this point, she doesn't even think about it. Sabrina said that her coach recommended it, and her parents required it. When I got to high school, I was 14 years old pitching against 18-year-old girls, and I was very, very scared, and I told my dad, like, I don't feel comfortable on the mound. I feel like they're going to hit the ball at me and kill me. For another former pitcher, it was a whole team requirement. In fact, almost half the Bellarmine softball team wore masks at one point in their lives. So I probably started wearing a face mask when I was about 12 years old, and I actually used to wear it in the outfield, which is pretty excessive, but I mean, it was pretty important when I moved into like pitcher, and I played third base in last year of high school, so it was really important then, because the ball comes at you really fast. While there isn't too much research on face masks, players who wear them up through this level think that it actually makes a difference in how they play the game. They weren't really the cool thing to wear when um, older girls wear it, but now I feel like since like there's been more accidents occurring and um, the media promoting it, I think it's definitely a younger generation thing. See the ball hit and you put your glove up and sometimes you don't even realize the ball is in there until you check it. At this point in Bellarmine's season, coaches and teammates are glad Sabrina wears her face mask. The team has suffered countless injuries so far this year. Two of those injuries were season ending for pitchers Madeline Kurtz and Alexis Sumner, leaving Sabrina as the only pitcher on the team. Coach Renee Hicks says that the team can't afford to lose Sabrina, so she's glad she takes her safety seriously, especially after an accident that she witnessed just five years ago. In 2013, All-American Allie Foster was on the mound at Knights Field when she was knocked out by a 150 mile per hour line drive to the face. The ball did some serious damage, including an exposed cheekbone that required 22 stitches, and she had two broken bones. The injury was enough to keep her off the field for 11 days. When Allie returned, she was wearing a face mask. Both her parents and doctors ordered her to wear the mask for the remainder of her four years. Doctors say that if she gets hit again, the results will be even worse. As for if Kentucky high school should require face masks, it's heavily disputed. Some people say firm yes, while others still think it should be up to players, coaches, and parents. I think that it should be required. I think it's just too big a risk sometimes that people don't always think to you know, take care of. No, I don't think it should be required. Um, I think it's kind of just a mental thing uh, sometimes, but I mean, if you feel that you're you know, able to perform without one, I don't think you should be required to. And Ali says, instead of bubble wrapping our players, I think that sound fundamentals will protect from consistent injuries. You can learn to feel the ball correctly without a mask, but accidents will happen no matter what. But Ali poses a deeper question. She asks, why has the face mask protection only been applied to females? I know two baseball players who shatter their jaws that same year, one on Bellarmine's team. But there's one thing that they can all agree on. They say that if the high school level requires face masks, you'll see a lot more of them at the college level. Reporting for Bellarmine Sports, I'm Olivia Russell.